what's going on guys it's your girl jenny for eight i'm back with another video for you guys so we're gonna jump right into it you guys have been first of all if no one told you guys today i love you and i know all your dreams and aspirations matter so whoever this is gonna resonate for you guys have been under heavy 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 spiritual attack okay and when i say heavy i mean heavy and a lot of for you guys, you've experienced it through your dreams. You had some of you guys experienced through not being able to sleep or waking up in the middle of the night, having bad nightmares. Some of you guys been having sleep paralysis. And for others of you, you've been um, suffering through the spiritual warfare from your mental, being confused, feeling restricted, not having um, high self-esteem, feeling like you don't belong to this world, feeling out of place, not being able to make the right decisions, all right? You was being attacked from multiple people. And a lot of the times you may defeat one person and here goes another person um, reminding you of that same person, a whole new person. That's because the spirit will be, will be jumping out of different bodies and vessels and keep following you because you are defeating, you know, you are releasing. That's what's going on here. And a lot of, I'm here to also say that, you know, I'm here, my, my readings is to touch up on this and allow you to be aware and equip you to engage in spiritual warfare because it's not a happy season, a lot of loss, a lot of grief, and then it be from those that is very, very close to you. So spiritually, spiritual attacks are serious. And a lot of the times people got this thing where you're going to see a big black demon and all of this stuff. And it's not like that. It's usually manifest through confusion, through not being able to sleep at night, through sleep paralysis, feeling confused and tired and your energy drained for no reason. You got to be aware of those things in your body. But right now, that's what y'all going through. All right. You are, you are, or you was at a period of feeling so vulnerable and confused. When you think about chicks, you think about them relying and being guided on a higher source, right? You didn't have that around you. And these people played on that. They played on your vulnerability. Now, these people that have done this to you may have been a group of people, a group of friends, a group of co-workers, -worker, a group of just neighbors, I don't know, a group of family members, somebody that didn't like you in a relationship, but it was a group of them trying to cause torture on your life by spiritual warfare. And this is also telling me that you wasn't equipped, which is also sad. Because you be thinking people don't be doing, you know, envious things, but you could give people, you know, bad juju with the evil eye, just being jealous. All right. And these people preyed on your vulnerability. They preyed on you being by yourself. Some of you guys don't have no parents, no friends, no family. People see that and they prey on it. All right. So this was, this was a lot of people that was attacking you spiritually. You're laid down right now. You don't have no room to attack, um, to fight back. You was getting attacked every which way and sometimes if you think about it the only way you're not really aware is if you're sleeping that's a form of spiritual attack all right but what i can say is that you have ancestors that's out here in this reading that we're going to get into that love you and that really does not play about you all right and there is karma being bestowed on every last person that has done you wrong you don't see those pillars this is a whole village all right there was a village trying to attack you and spiritually attack you when you was down, when you was at your last straw, when you needed help is what I'm getting. You probably was at a state where you needed help and you was in a season of, of hitting rock bottom also, vulnerable. And instead of helping you, these people prayed on your weakness and wanted to attack you and, and send you in a spiritual, and send you in a season of spiritual warfare, which is so sad because it shows how they think of themselves but don't worry look at them getting hit by karma left and right and i'm not the one to talk about karma because i love y'all but karma is real and you cannot run from it i don't care how spiritual you are spiritual you are not even me i cannot run from karma karma is simply simply a result of one's actions sometimes people get good karma 
which I see you getting in this reading. But some people are giving bad, getting bad karma because of the energy that they put out in the world. And it is universal law that you get what you give out in the world. And it's people, people have done you wrong spiritually. Prayed on you while you was down in all areas of your life. But they get in it. They might not tell you. You might not be concerned or focused, but they get in every last thing that they made you go through while you was down. They are all going down. We don't even know or care about how that's doing. But you just, if you wanted to know, they are not living too good. They may act like it, but they are not living too good. All right? Your ancestors also... The reason why this village is going down that try to send you into a season of spirit, spiritual warfare is because you are loved. You are loved by the divine. You always had a strong mental. Okay? And also, the spirit of envy, jealousy, chaos, the devil would never win over light. And these people was being led by the devil. So they was being fueled by the devil. And they was attacking your heart and everything that you love. Your abundance. Your relationships. Your opportunities. That's what they were attacking. But spirit, when you give out bad energy. And when you being fueled off the devil. It's only but a moment of time you're going to have that power. Because the moment of time you're going to wake up and you're going to grow in spirit. And you and also what I'm being called to say, a lot of people got to realize you're not supposed to mess with people. Especially if they're quiet because sometimes you don't even know who your ancestors are. Sometimes you, you don't even know how powerful your ancestors are. And you realize as soon as somebody do you wrong, tragedy is happening to their life. This is what's going on in today's life because they was being fueled by the negative energy. They was being fueled by fire. Thank you, spirit. I was wondering why this card was here. This was a message. All right. Now, you have had to go through a number of cycles. All I see is circles here. A number of cycles of spiritual warfare. And a stormy cloud over your head because you needed to be equipped. You needed to learn. You needed to use discernment, meaning judge character well. You wasn't doing that. You was too nice. You didn't have no boundaries. You was a walk all over. As soon as you wanted to have boundaries, you felt so bad. So you started to apologize and you started to allow the enemy in. And you allowed the enemy in. So as you was going through this um, spiritual warfare and everybody was dishing out karma, getting karma being done to them. A lot of people started to try to come back and apologize, rush in and apologize with this knight of swords and this cups. But you put a stop to it because you started to really be messed up in the mental. You started to see every time I'm around these people, I start to get confused. I start, my energy starts to get drained. I don't have enough energy to work or do my priorities or handle my kids or my responsibilities. Every time you started to realize that and put it into it, they always wanted to rush and apologize. But it was a fake. They still would stab you in your back here. All right? You put it into this. Now, they was attacking a lot of the things that you was materializing on earth. When you think about earth, you think about your money, your assets, your love, your relationships, your resources, your clothes, you know, your personality, things of that nature. All right? But as you've grown, you started to protect your energy. All right? As you've grown, you started to protect... A lot of those things I just mentioned as far as your earthly possessions. And for others of you, a Alewa is out here. And that's what I'm talking about, ancestors, that is very powerful because a Alewa is actually Arisha. One of the most powerful Arishas that got to get fed first if you want to give an offering. Must. He holds the key to your destiny and he closes a lot of doors. He's the one that gives out karma. He's the ones that see everything you cannot get past. And he's also plays like the good angel and the bad angel. And one of the reasons why he plays as the bad angel is to show you, are you going to choose something because of you being selfish, because of your own greed? 
and it makes you go through bad karma and you will learn a lesson and you won't do it again. All right? So he shows up in a form of karma in your life. And if you be obedient and learn the lessons, he is going to protect you. He's going to open up the doors. Nobody, and he opens up the doors to travel. He's like the road opener. Okay? And he's protecting, he's protecting your new life. That you are getting because of good karma. See, these people put bad energy out in the world and receiving bad karma. karma. Every last one of them. I'm here to tell you, 10, 33 on the clock. They are going through it. But we're not going to stay on that energy. We're going to stay on this new life energy that Alegwa has opened. You could Google Alegwa. And some of you guys need to thank Alegwa because he has opened the door for his doors for you. And he has protect you. In a full circle. So these people use a portal of dark energy to try to do this and manifest something dark in your life. And now you have a protection, a circle of protection, powerful protection. Because again, if you don't believe me, Google Alegua. He doesn't even come out in a lot of readings. So that means you are gifted and you are special and you are not to be played with in a spiritual realm. This also tells me that you have the okay to go in any direction that you want, want to with confidence and faith. Because he's protecting every corner and every circle and every part of your life right now. And he's providing you a new life. So you need to be thankful here. All right. You have a full body of protection that is surrounding you full circle now. Okay. Nothing that these people uh was trying to do to you to your finances to your earthly possessions especially your mental for you to draw in those things being in a state of confusion and low vibrations has been stopped he has the keys again to closing every last door and opening in every last one because he has the possession of karma and he knows your Akashic records. So there's no way of escape, escaping him. So these people thought they was escaping him by being fast and playing with moon cycles or, or utilizing dark energy that was supposed to be used for healing because that's what the full moon is for and they used it for dark. Remember what I said. He has the power of, um, you know, dishing out your karma here. He's a very, very powerful DST. Google him so you can work with him. So you can clear your bad luck into good luck. Also, it is when I thank you, Allegra. Also, is when I'm being told to tell you that he has the, the ability to turn your good luck into bad luck, into bad luck, into good luck. And right now, these people are getting the worst luck they could possibly ever think of. While you over here being protected. All right? Now... You embody Oshun's energy. Oshun came out. So another deity that came out. That's how I know. You guys are highly protected because these are some of my guys. Google Oshun. She's here to bring sweetness and love and kindness over your life. Bring triumphant to adversity and success and financial gain. You are a person that embodies this energy of love and purity. And you are sexy, you are sensual, you have the gift of gab. You have always been a person to get your way because you know how to use your resources wisely and build your relationships and don't burn bridges here. That's why these people try to attack you because you was a nurturer. You always had a bright future for yourself and you always will be. You, you are a person that know, know, um, learn and know how to balance out your yin and your yang here and you are more spiritual than the material, you know, at this time here. You are more um, in an energy of self-healing, self-care, and working on your money and your abundance right now in all aspects of your life, mentally, physically, spiritually, and emotionally here. All right? And as you're doing that with Oshun's energy, you are creating good karma because uh, Oshun is a spirit of love. Oshun is a spirit of sweetness and sensuality. And security and abundance and if you are embodying this energy you are going to be protected by a leg because think about a leg protecting his youngest sister the youngest out the bunch because you might be young 
And you might have an older brother or son also that's protecting you. But whatever which way, Alec Boaz are out here. And you could think about this relationship in your spiritual realm as you, as your younger sister here. They're not playing about you. You could Google a label and Oshun. These people are receiving a shitload of karma because they instead of using a portal to the full moon, oh, thank you, spirit. Instead of using a portal to the full moon to grow, because the, the full moon, which is tomorrow, is enlightening. It illuminates the thing that, you, that you're supposed to grow. Um, the, excuse me. It is supposed to illuminate the things that you're supposed to grow from. And your traumas. And they use this portal because it's a strong portal of growth. And instead of growing, they use this dark energy because it is a dark energy to cause havoc and chaos in your life and spiritual warfare. But you are divinely protected and they are getting a shitload of energy. They try to make you get left out in the cold and 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 throw all your opportunities away. You may feel like every opportunity that was coming to you, every creative idea that was coming to you, any ounce of energy that was coming to you, somehow was blocked. Was blocked and you got right back to square one. You felt like every possibility or opportunity or some sort of energy was blocked. And it caused you to be blocked from your dreams and your aspirations and you lo you losing faith. Some of you guys felt like blocked off losing faith. Some of you guys was almost at a point of losing faith. Because there was an the energy to block you. Alright? I see you as you are being protected by these highly respected and powerful deities and yourself. Putting an end to anything that was causing you any type of backstabbing or blockages. You are growing on your money here. You are growing on your relationships. And you are learning from all the spiritual warfare. You are learning through, through the different cycles. And you are on the, also learning karma. All right? You are standing tall to your boundaries. And you are creating healthy boundaries out this time. To where it's causing you to form a strong foundation. I see you taking your time and moving forward. But wherever your journey is at in your life right now, it's leading you to a happy and a financially for a free life. It's leading you to a lot of generational wealth because you have learned through so much spiritual warfare that you went through. I love you guys and that's what I have for you. Remember, you got a leg bar that is clearing your path and changing your bad luck to good. And you got Oshun that's adding sweetness and harmony and nurturing to your life you are divinely protected to start a new life